next project I did put a thing on Facebook to see if anybody knew what this was made out of. Here's what it's made out of. These are those little pizza, yeah, pizza table things. I didn't know what to call them. I thought they were pizza, pizza box spacers and I went into the pizza store to actually, um, to actually ask them for more and he called them a little table. <laughs> and that's what I've used them for before in dollhouses, I've used them um, for a little table. But these are actually what they put into with a box of pizza so that when the other box, when the lid goes on top, it doesn't smash the, the um, pizza. So that's what this next project is, um, is made from, it's the pizza table. So first thing you're gonna need is, um, it, you're gonna probably need a craft knife and I also use a um, wire cutters. And I take and cut off the, the legs. And then I just kind of trim, trim the sides a little bit until you get it all nice and neat. And then you're going to trim that there. You're going to take one of the legs because we want it to be the peace sign. You're going to take one of the legs and the, the end of it, you're going to kind of do like a little, you want to do a little arrow. I want to go one way and then the other way and that way it fits just perfectly. You might have to trim that a little bit. You want it to fit just perfectly into that little area right there and then you clip down here at the end. So when you're done and you have it, it's like this. I, I glued the little leg in like this. Next thing you do is just take some different colors of paint. And I tried to do it where it was kind of, you know, like um, cool PC colors and just have fun with the colors, use things that you already have. And I really like to use these little, they're from, um, just cut your sponges from like a facial sponge, like this one's already been used on one end, but I just cut them into little pieces and I just start to tap on my colors. And when you use these little the sponges, you can also take and you can kind of like press the, the color up against the edge. Designer secret. Press it in. And I got another color over here. And get some black on here. You're going to take the, um, to get your little piece sign, you're just going to take and kind of put we need a little bit more black. And just go over it to create the peace sign. Isn't that fun? And I thought too, when I made it, I thought, well, that's really cool because it, it looks really good. Kids will have fun with it. And the, the peace sign is so popular right now. And of course it would need a little bit more paint. And I have one that's already painted on. And actually what I did too at this point is I sprinkled in some glitter. And then I have this one here that's, that's got the colors in it. Let me get this. There we go. And there you have your peace sign. Now I did, on mine, I did drill. I don't see my, <laughs> don't see my 3D, um, my Secura 3D 
lacquer, but that's what I put in it was the lacquer. And it just, it was cool because I just filled it in. Whoops, let's get this out of the way. There we go. I just filled it in with the 3D lacquer and I put a couple of little rhinestones. And I drilled the top of it. I put in a um, jump ring. I then tied the um, satin, just some satin cording and then just tied some beads onto that. And um, just a fun, easy project that the kids will love and it looks really good.